Today we're going to go over how to tether your camera to your computer. It's very simple. So let's go. Will Simpson here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go over how to quickly and easily tether your camera to your computer. And if you're watching this video, you probably already know what tethering means, but in case you don't, tethering is simply connecting your camera to your computer. So when you take a photo, it automatically uploads into Lightroom and pops up on the screen so you can review it much easier than the back of your screen. Now, a couple of notes, Lightroom Classic, you can tether. Lightroom CC, which is the cloud-based version of Lightroom, you cannot tether. So if you're using Lightroom CC, switch to Lightroom Classic because it's way better. Anyways, it's just a note. <laughs> so let's go over the things that you're going to need for this, uh, for tethering. The first thing you're gonna need, a camera. That's, that's helpful. Second thing, a computer. I'm using Apple, obviously, but I think it should work with pretty much any computer. Uh, you're gonna need an Adobe, account, Lightroom Classic, something like that. The way I tether, the way I do it is you can do it to your computer, but I use a solid state hard drive and I automatically put the photos onto this rather than onto my computer. So this already like backs them up for me and I operate from solid state hard drives. And all of this stuff I'll link in the description in case you don't have it. So the next thing you're gonna need is a tether cable. Now the one that I got, I will link in the description, I got it off Amazon, it was about 50 bucks. This is a 15 foot cable. Now, one thing about this specific cable, um, it comes with a USB-C connector on this side, which plugs into my R5 and plugs into my computer. However, on the other side is an open USB um, port. So you don't actually have the connection, you have to buy the connector separately, just for this cable. I'm sure you can find one, but I just found this one works really well. So I got a USB, and you actually probably will have one of these at home if you have electronics or things at all. You probably have like 37 of these lying around and you just don't even know it. But this connects into your, US, your tether cable, and this end connects to your either your camera or your computer, and this goes into the other one. Now maybe your camera or your computer has a different port, which in that case, you would get a different one of these. And last but not least, a glass of water because I don't know I just build on myself whatever there's no reason for this okay <laughs> good so let's get into the tethering we are going to take our tether cable right actually first let's plug in our hard drive good hard drive plugged in we're going to take our tether cable we're going to plug this end into the camera somehow Good, turn your camera on. And if I recall correctly, I think that end actually has to go into the computer because the other side didn't work. I don't know why. Uh, so I'm gonna take this end, plug it into the computer. Good, we're going to go to, gonna go up here to file. We're going to tether capture and start tethered capture going to give you this screen here. Now we're going to type in whatever the session name is. So for this case, we're going to say YouTube tether video. Perfect. And then we're going to scroll down here. Uh, session. This is just the template. So you can, however you want a template, however you want to name it. Uh, and then we're going to choose the destination. So we're going to choose, I'm going to go to our files. I have a terrible organization here, so don't even pay attention to that. I'm gonna create a new folder and we're gonna create, uh, name it Tether, Tether Video, create. Good, and then we're just gonna choose this file folder here because it will automatically create another folder once you start adding images. So press choose and then all of this stuff, you can do whatever you want with, um, it's, this is all you really needed to do. So press okay and this will say detecting camera. Now, if I am correct, at this point, I think I need to switch the cable. So make sure your camera is not sleeping. Let's see if that worked. No, good. So orange part goes into computer. This part goes into camera. I don't know why that is the way it is, but for some reason, it works. Okay, good. Now we are tethered and let's take a photo. So spin around here, 
We're going to take our photo. And voila. Look at that. Popped right up on the screen. Perfect tether. Let's make some adjustments to the settings. Take another photo. <laughs> and booyah. So that is the quickest way to tether. Now, cool couple of features. If you notice here, it says Canon EOS R5, so it notices the camera. You can change the shutter, the aperture, the ISO, the white balance. You can do all of that from the computer. You can also take a photo. So if I hold the camera, zoom out here, see if I can take a photo of myself. There we go. Perfect. Oh God, that's beautiful. <laughs> It's just, just a lovely photo of myself. Anyways, it's very easy to do. Now, a couple of notes. Some cameras do not tether. So I will link a list down to the Adobe website that gives the whole list, but here is kind of uh, a list of cameras. I did know that the Canon R6 Mark II does not work yet. I tried it, that's why I'm filming with it right now, but it does not tether yet. I think the, the connection was a little loose, so I'm gonna test on that and I'll get back to you, but at this point, it didn't work. The Canon R5 works great. Here's the entire list of cameras, Nikons, Canons, so on and so forth. But there you have it. That is how to tether your camera to your computer. Another cool thing that actually before I go is you can actually import them with a preset. So if you go here to develop settings, you can add a preset and you see all of mine here, which are available on the website. Plug for me, there you go. Um, and you can import the photos automatically with a preset. Once you import them, you can, while connected, adjust the adjustments and make edits to your photo right there. So this is a really good way for clients and uh, models and whatnot to see the photos and be able to really show them what you're wanting. A uh, good way to adjust lighting to make sure it's good. And that is how to do it. So go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and comment if you have any questions or difficulties, but that is it for this video. This is a awesome way to make you even more badass. I will see you guys next week.